and Danica at the canal. I'm gonna try for some landlocked salmon and some brook trout. So, see what happens. So I got a seven foot medium rod with 3000 series reel. I got 10 pound line on it. There are some big fish in here, but you know, they're pretty rare in this part of the canal. But you never know. The hardest part is trying to freaking find them. I can't find the fish. Once you find them though, you catch away all day. One of us just, I don't know. We just gotta find them and we'll have some fun. They don't feel too bad. Oh, landlock? I'd assume he jumped. Get the net for me, please. Just wants to put him in a net just so uh, while I'm getting the camera going. We don't hurt them. Put net there in the water. Perfect. Let's see. Oh yeah. 13, 14 inch landlock. Is that for me there? Just gotta get the hook. Only be a second. Yeah, not bad. He's hooked good, so right there. Little, I don't know, 14 incher. First fish of the day. Let's try to get some more. Where'd you cast? Just watch. I'll try to do the same thing I just did. Get out on your sketchy ass rock. Not as nimble as I used to be. On yonder. And he actually only took right here. I'm just leaving my rod, letting the current was going that way take my lure. I'm bouncing it every now and now and again, and uh, you'll feel him latch on. little bounces like that it was about I don't know right here where this guy took so maybe there's a little school there maybe not yep 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 definitely a little school there that one feels pretty good as well no you're just fighting good yeah. Wonder will he jump for us? Ooh, that's not good. He went for it, but I got him kind of snagged. Yeah, get the net. We need to give this guy a minute. Put the note. Oh, there we go. He's off. Here, just put the net down, let him swim out. There we go. Gone. Let him take off. What's doing it for me? Just a silver spoon. Do the same thing again. I don't think I need to go as far as I'm going. These fish seem to be, I don't know, about 40 feet out right there, down in the deep. Now, see if we can repeat the same thing, go for three in a row. We've probably only been here, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, so this might turn out to be a pretty good day. Yeah, all I'm doing, like I said in the last clip, is just leaving my lure letting it sink a little bit and the current's taking it so it's sinking pretty slow and those fish are just tapping it and latching on should be about right here where that one took they were they seem to be down pretty deep honestly this is my only complaint about the canal filled with cables and crap like that and it's just once you get a hook up you're lucky to get it back honestly i'm probably gonna lose this one let's see oh yeah definitely i can feel it i don't know what's coming it's either on a line or uh, some grass. Pull it very slowly though. Cause, oh, I got it. What was I on? Let's see now. Yeah, some of that thick, thick grass. Look at that. It's crazy how strong that stuff is, let me tell you. Well, I just got bit there. Same thing on the drop. Oh, watch tip my rod, guys. Got him. I like to give a few little tugs, just, you know, set the hook pretty well. He's a pretty small guy. Probably another landlocked salmon. Yep. Definitely found where a school, school of them is at, though. 
don't need a net for this little guy we'll just bring him up you don't seem to be hooked too bad ah perfect best thing to happen for them little fish like that we'll get right back out there just casting out there got a bit of a heavier lure on now so i can cast out into that eddy which is where they all are if you watch my past few videos it's where they're all at so you got a heavy one on like i do i think they're i don't know they might be a half ounce ounce i think they're quarter ounce though so look out there see what the water's swirling yeah cast right out there kind of where i cast it to and uh you should get them it might be harder for you to fish the way i'm fishing like just feeling it because it's a new rod for you and you don't have very good feel on it but just reel in you'll get them Well, <laughs> I just got bit. Never had the camera going, but I never struck him either, so that's good. Again, sinking down in the deep water, so. I know they're there. I know the general area where they're at. are back for day two Smile. gonna try a bunch of different stuff today and see if i can really get these landlocked dialed in they're uh, like i know where they hang out here and it's no trouble to come up here and get a few fish but i really want to have a good day and put out a real good video if you guys follow me you might have seen the post i made a few days ago actually probably a week ago about these big brook shot i caught i can't get them again i never got enough footage so that's why you're not seeing any of that but that will come i promise but uh, for now, this is what we're doing after some landlocked salmon. And there are brook trout here, and there are some decent fish here. Just they're, they're a bit more rare here, but the numbers here are really high. You get a lot of fish here. So we're going to try a bunch of different techniques today and see what we can do. Get the rod out here. Now, I was actually just up to Howley trying to finish filming that video about the trout, and this is what I had on. So we're going to give that a go. I want to see if these landlocked will eat that. I know they will in the spring and summer, but I want to see if winter landlocked will eat it. It's a little jerk bait, so we're going to give that a go first. I was out on that rock yesterday. I'm gonna try to get back out there. I'm gonna do it. Okay. First cast. See if we can find the fish. switch baits here i'm gonna go with this and these aren't designed for casting very far but i do love mfs's spinners they're great so uh what i am gonna do and scott my buddy if you're watching you might hate me for this but i'm gonna put a couple split shots there to uh help me cast that further and uh put a worm on it because they come with a single hook so i feel like this might be the ticket i don't usually use bait on lures because it you know really messes up the action of the lure but when it's tough like this bait can never hurt you see here the action of this spinner is like really good but they're not designed for casting long distances so like i said i'm going to take a few split shots and put on it beautiful little fire tiger perch color now the label is ripped off that package so i don't actually know exactly what this one was called i'll do my research and i'll pop it up on the screen here what this exact spinner is called but uh we're gonna get some split shots on it quick modification and uh, bait it up and we'll get out there Quick little modification, you got to lure as well over a quarter ounce, I would say. Perfect to bomb out there. And, you know, it doesn't affect the lure at all. So, give it a go. Well, there we go. Got the spinner set up with a bit of worm. And, uh, show you guys now, them weights didn't affect the action of that spinner whatsoever. You'll see her down there spinning. The worm affects it, actually, if anything. But, we're going to give it a go. It's still doing its job. That was the weakest take i've ever seen danica thought she was stuck on the bottom is it a trout or a salmon can you tell <laughs> don't tell me nothing put him in the net and bring him down 
Let's see. Oh yeah, it's actually a decent trout. Look at that. That's a decent trout. Put him in water for a second. And then we'll, uh, give me a second. I'll put your rod down. We'll let him go. That's what she got hers on. Classic red devil. Let him go. You should have held him up. It's a nice trout, actually. I have to fight another day. I I had a fish. I know. That was weird. You didn't even, I thought it was just. Maybe. Yeah. A little one. I let that sit on the bottom. Little landlocked salmon. Little tiny guy. It's first fish on that spinner. Let's get a few more. Maybe that's a strategy. Let it sit on the bottom. That's all I did with this one. I've been fishing with the spinner for, I don't know, 15 minutes. Let's get that little guy back. Down. Got a rebate. We'll get back at it. Same thing. Chuck this out and let it sit on the bottom. I was getting bit just then. See if it'll come back. Leave my line slack. I was definitely getting bit for sure. Seems like he may have won up. No, he's back. Got him. That's the strat. Let it sit on the bottom. Oh, he came off right there. Did he? No, I've still got him. No, he did come off right there. Well, let's get this back out. Let it sit on the bottom again. They're there. There's a little school there, and I don't know, maybe I could cast and retrieve and catch them, but what's working for me is letting it sit on the bottom, so that's what I'm going to do. Like, I definitely have one right now. Yep. It's big. It's big. Like, actually big. Oh, it's actually quite nice, Danica. This might be the nicest fish I've hooked here in a long time. Oh, no. I just kind of foul hooked him. That's what it was. He definitely came for it, though. Yeah. Foul hooked the sucker. I hate doing that, but I mean, he, he did come for that. Anyway, that's not in him very much, so we'll just... Yeah, we'll get that out. He's not bleeding or nothing. And we'll get him back. If he was bleeding or visibly, like, damaged, I'd keep him. But yeah, this seems to be the strat. Cast out and let it sit on the bottom. My lure's on the bottom now. And actually, I was just about to say, my line starts going, I got one. And my line's going. I'll know for sure when I feel the taps. I got one. Nope, it came off. Got him. Definitely got him. Not a very big one. No, I actually lied so bad. Pretty sure one's taking my line right now. Because that lure has been on the bottom. Yep. 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 Wait till I feel the taps. So finicky. I got him. Yep. Yeah, I definitely got him this time. Oh, there we go. A landlocked salmon. Must be a school of these guys out there about this size. Whew. I knew this color bait would do really well. I knew it, and uh, it's certainly producing for me. Let's get him back. Beauty of little fish there. Let's go rebate, and we'll get at it again. That's all I'm doing right here. I'm not even, like, really casting. I'm just giving it a flick out there and uh, letting a lot of line out. When it hits bottom, obviously, there's slack line, and then I know I have a fish when the slack line starts going. Oh, like now. Pretty sure there's one at it. Definitely. Definitely one at it. Yep, got him. Nope, he came off. Pulled it right out of his mouth. Let's try it again. I haven't got enough worm to afford to lose that, so we're going to fix that. We'll get that back out. There's a lot of fish there, and this, this lure seems to be doing it. He's going with that. Where's he going is the question. He needs to get a good hook set or, you know, you don't get him. Coming towards me, isn't he? I don't know. Might have dropped it. Yeah, he dropped it. There he goes. He's picking at it. Doesn't have it yet. Or does he? 
I can't tell. Just like that, they're gone again. Just a little school that came around is all. So we're either gonna have to wait for them to come back around, which I don't know if we're going to, or we gotta go find some more fish. And they can only be 30 feet up there, school up back hanging there. So this place is kind of hard to fish, honestly. Same spinner. Same spinner. That's probably a, oh, I don't know, 15 or 16 incher on that same spinner there. He's all wrapped up, but I gotta figure that out and we'll, we'll get him released. Show you guys one more time. That MFS spinner. Nice one right there. There he is, nice little guy. Let's get him released now. They don't seem very big. How many grab the net? No, don't need net for that. Ah, yeah, I might as well. Nah. I don't need net for that little guy. Another one. I'd say he's, oh, I don't know, 11, 12 inches. He's gone. Fun or what? Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. It's a little chilly, so we're going to head up and get out of it. Between yesterday and today, I'd say we were only here for a couple hours each time. But um, that MFS uh, spinner was for sure the best best lure today. This guy here, I tell you, he caught me a lot of fish and a lot of fish quick. And the single hook is nice, too, for catch and release as well. So the little modification definitely helped. But uh, these spinners are definitely good for what they're designed for. But the modification, guarantee help. And you might be saying, why didn't you just put the split shot on the line? Well, I, I want to use a spinner for long casting too. So I might as well just have it on that spinner and uh, it's always there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one. <laughs>